Good morning, folks. This is dust pushed up from an exposed bed of a drying lake. The full image and article are linked below. Boys in event mode, starting with my favorite buoy, south of Bali, just a minor deviation, could have been anything. Up near Alaska, we are back at the buoy showing similar readings to this on and off for weeks. This is only a few feet. Top quakes of the day include five pointers in Sumatra, Papua New Guinea, and Peru. Shifting to severe hailstorm in former Soviet Georgia. Imagine if a state lost all its crops. Only difference is here they got provinces. India, Bangladesh, at this point the world knows what's on your doorstep. Say hi to the cyclone. The shear off west across to Africa has Somalia in a widespread flood that has begun claiming lives in this struggling region. I expect their rain to continue for days. Top Euro watch is Italy. Mediterranean really adding energy to the crossing cells. The northern intrusion is driving wind hard and knocking out power in Cornwall. Australia and New Zealand, the low over Tasmania and the northern coastlines have the watches going forward. I disagree with the official government watch today. While Texas will indeed get severe weather, the convergence bends up to the Keystone State and will indeed produce thunderstorms and the possibility for more severe events from Wheeling through my old hometown of Pittsburgh and east through the state. Gamma burst. Got this one coming from way south out of the Telescopium constellation. While yellow solar wind speed is holding, the density is way too high. This indicates that rather than a unique space weather impact, that it represents particles pushed out of the way of other CMEs. All these bits of ejecta here have an electromagnetic charge that can affect the field vector force on other solar wind particles or other heliospheric matter. These dense bursts without speed taken this morning suggest the X-flare CMEs that are beginning to reach 1 AU from the sun but missing Earth to the east have plowed the road with us sitting on the sidewalk, if you get my meaning. One real magnetic jolt we took from it, a little more concerning is the lack of rheometer data. Hopefully that comes back today. Yesterday's energetic particle flux is still rising. The high energy proton event causing minor radiation increases at the poles needs to be watched for spikes today. Umbral field still twisting around but opening as a coronal hole enters on the south in red. Folks, we got yet another X-class solar flare. We'll go straight to the sunspots. The largest region popped M's before cresting but has decayed since then. These are all beta spots with very little complexity otherwise. Then we have the new region, 11748. You will see a lot of change in short order as she crested into view. Such changes tend to occur when there are X-class explosions snapping your magnetic field around. Remember, delta spots are opposing polarity umbras closely held within the same penumbra. We're looking at this leading group right here, and perhaps there is a secondary delta in the middle of the spots. As you watch these images of that X-flare, CME, and a filament erupting on the southwest, know that this CME also appears that it will miss Earth. But today's eruptions, if any are to be had, may be glancing blow events. Enjoy the shots of our star, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.